Today I'll be answering the question, what is MRR and ARR? So what do they stand for and how do you calculate them? So MRR stands for monthly recurring revenue and ARR stands for annual recurring revenue, which is also referred to as annual run rate. So monthly recurring revenue or MRR is a calculation of your total number of subscribers and the amount they are billed monthly. You can use an average amount for the monthly bill if you have different tiers and different levels. So a subscription-based company is going to use monthly recurring revenue to determine how much they make in a given month. And it's a pretty simple formula. So monthly recurring revenue is just your active customers times their average monthly bill. Now there's different ways to break down this formula and you need to update your monthly recurring revenue on a monthly basis because it's always going to change based on new subscribers, lost subscribers, and upgraded subscribers. So when you're looking at ARR, annual recurring revenue, it's just your monthly recurring revenue times 12. So you can also use quarterly recurring revenue, which is not as popular, but it is going to give you a little better expectation for your annual recurring revenue. So with ARR, it's a calculation of your total number of subscribers and the amount they are billed yearly on average. So if you have 100 subscribers and on a yearly basis, they're all billed $10, let's just say, then your annual recurring revenue is $1,000. So subscription-based companies use this to determine how much they're gonna make in a given year. So you can use two different formulas. You can use active customers times the average annual bill. So just come up with the average amount that all of your subscribers are going to be paying annually. Or what you can do and what most people do is just use your monthly recurring revenue from your previous month and multiply that by 12. You can also use the quarterly, like I said as well, to get a little bit better estimation of what your annual recurring revenue will be. Now, one of the most important factors for this, since it's mostly with subscription-based companies, whether they're offering a software, maybe they're offering some type of entertainment or education, is understanding net new monthly recurring revenue. So monthly recurring revenue with the gain or the loss from the previous month. So what that means is it takes into account new customers, upgraded customers, and lost customers to adjust your monthly recurring revenue on a monthly basis. So your net new monthly recurring revenue equals your new subscription revenue plus expanded subscription revenue, so any of your current customers that upgraded, minus your lost subscription revenue. So any of the customers that you lost and their subscriptions that you've lost. So let's look at an example. Let's say my subscription company had 250 customers that paid $10 on August 1st. Now I'm gonna be asking at the end of this, what is my monthly recurring revenue for August and September? So let's say it were currently in September. So I have my monthly recurring revenue for September already. And let's say last month, August, I had 25 existing customers upgrade to a new $20 per month tier. So I had no customers on this $20 per month tier. I create a new tier, 25 of my existing cup customers upgrade. I lose 15 customers that were paying $10 per month and I gain 50 customers that are paying $10 per month. So what is my monthly recurring revenue for August and September? So the way that you're going to do this is you're going to take your August monthly recurring revenue, which 250 customers, they all paid me $10 on August 1st. So my August monthly recurring revenue is $2,500. So if you take this number, multiply it by 12, that will give you my annual recurring revenue. So that's how you calculate your annual recurring revenue. But the reason why it's difficult to come up with your ARR is it's gonna change on a month by month basis based on growth or decline. Now there's two different ways to actually calculate our new monthly recurring revenue based on what happened the previous month. So when we look at our data, we come back over here. So I had 250 customers in the $10 per month tier, 25 of them upgraded to the $20 per month tier. So that gives me 225 customers that are now in my $10 tier. I add 50, so that brings me up to 275. I lose 15, so now I'm down to 260. So I have 25 at the $20 per month tier, and I have 260 customers now at the $10 per month tier. So $10 per month customers, I have 260 times 10, that's 2,600 per month. $20 per month customers, I have 25 times 20, that's 500 per month. So my September monthly recurring revenue is just add these two numbers up, my customers and how much they're paying per month, my September monthly recurring revenue would be $3,100. So this is how much I'm expecting to make per month.
And what you would generally do is use these numbers once you calculate them. So once you have the data for how your company is doing that month, you would just use these numbers to project future months and project, project for the year. So if you ever see somebody saying, my annual recurring revenue is now over $100,000, they're probably using their monthly recurring revenue from their most previous month, and they're looking at that data and just multiplying it by 12. The other way to do it, if we come back over here, we look at our annual recurring revenue, is somebody might say, okay, I currently have this many active customers and I'm expecting an average annual bill of this from this many active customers because they're paying me this on an annual basis. Now, it can be difficult to kind of calculate annual recurring revenue and have an exact number because you're, everything is going to change over time based on the number of subscribers you have, how much you're charging. So a company like Netflix, on a monthly basis, they gain so many subscribers, they lose so many subscribers. Some people might change the tier that they're in. So there's a lot of different ways for companies to look at their monthly recurring revenue and their annual recurring revenue. Now, if we come back over here, so calculating our new monthly recurring revenue for September, the other way that you can do it is you can say, okay, we have new subscriptions. So we have our 2,500 monthly recurring revenue from August. Our new subscriptions, we had 50 new subscribers. They're all paying $10 per month. Don't have my little dollar sign there, but that's $500 in new subscriptions. Upgraded subscriptions, we have 25 upgraded subscriptions who upgraded from $10 to $20. So what you need to do is take the new amount that they're paying and subtract the old amount that they're paying. So let's just say, for example, my new tier is $30, then you would just do $30 minus $10. So you're looking at upgraded subscriptions, but you have to take into account that some of those people were already subscribers. So since they're moving up a tier, we actually just have to subtract how much they were paying from the previous tier. So that gives us $250 in upgraded subscriptions. Lost subscriptions, so we ha lost 15 subscribers at $10 per month. So we lost $150 in subscribers. So our monthly recurring revenues for September is that $2,500. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna add your new subscriptions, you're gonna add your upgraded subscriptions, and you're gonna subtract your lost subscriptions to come up with your September monthly recurring revenue or whichever month you're on. So this is MRR and ARR. Essentially, you're just looking at how much you're making per month based on your subscribers and based on the average amount that subscribers are paying that month. So I just prefer to use this type of formula, just how much your subscribers are paying that month. Keep track of it on a monthly basis. And if, for example, let's just say you are using annual plans for your subscription model, which most companies do, and somebody's paying you, let's say, $80 a month, then what you would do is you would just take that number, divide it by 12, and you can use that to come up with a monthly recurring revenue, and then just keep track of how much, how many subscribers you have, and then again, the average amount that your subscribers are paying on a monthly basis. So if you have any questions about MRR or ARR, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today, and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.